Hi, Jasmine. Uh, this is uh, Matthew and uh, Robert Payne, and uh, this is going to be uh, your prophetic uh, destiny uh, blueprint. And uh, if you're just surfing in on YouTube and watching this, I have a service on my website which allows me to uh, get eight or nine uh, spiritual gifts that you have spiritual things uh, that you're destined to do uh, with your life. Uh, this could be totally outside uh, your line of work, but these are things that uh, God has prepared you to do uh, with your life. And uh, I seek the Holy Spirit. I open a Microsoft Word page. I uh, prepare my coffee and uh, I uh, write uh, the nine, eight or nine or ten points down, and then I do like a 20 minute uh, video explaining each of the points. It's uh, very illuminating, it's very good, it's very worthwhile. And uh, I had uh, a woman do one for me, it cost me 150 US dollars, and she gave me 12 points that I pretty much uh, walk in uh, myself and uh, I was very happy to have it uh, confirmed in my life. So if uh, you would like uh, one of them uh, for your life, uh, you can go to my website and the first link in the description tag of this video and order one for yourself. So Jasmine, uh, I'm going to uh, share the screen uh, so I bring up uh, the 10 points. I think I had uh, 10 points for you and uh, you'll be able to see them here. Uh, I'll make uh, them a bigger uh, font so you can see them uh, bigger. Uh, so I um, really love your name, Jasmine. Um, it must be exciting uh, being called after a flower. Uh, uh, or a herb I, I don't know if it's a jasmine as a flower or, or just an essential oil uh, but uh, really nice name um, I want to start uh, by uh, giving like a short prophetic word I've never done this before but I get a sense uh, when I was making my coffee just to say a few things uh, Jesus and the Father really love you. You've got a very compassionate, giving, kind, agape love filled heart. You uh, are generous. Uh, you're kind. You're compassionate. You're loving. Uh, you love people. You're easy to talk to. You're easy to communicate with. You're a great listener. You ask great questions. You're very inquisitive of people. You make a dear friend and a lovely friend, and you're really um, outgoing and lovely uh, towards people. Um, you really uh, demonstrate uh, the character of Jesus, and uh, you really, uh, really uh, epitomize uh, who uh, Jesus is. I want a person to be. Um, I, I don't always uh, have uh, a friend of God as one of the ten things. Um, God uh, really chooses his friends wisely. And uh, so it doesn't appear on every blueprint, but it appears on yours. And uh, God uh, truly uh, loves you and uh, wants to uh, draw you closer to himself. So point number one, uh, I can see you uh, being uh, talented as a worshipper, but also as a singer and also a recording artist. I don't know. Uh, I think it costs about $1,000 Australian uh, to record a song these days. So to record an EP would uh, probably cost about $6,000 in, in uh, recording and studio costs, but I can see you uh, 
I, I'm not sure if you're a musician, but I could see you actually recording an album, even uh, if uh, uh, they're songs of other people that uh, you really resonate. I could see you uh, getting uh, studio musicians or, or, or backing tracks and uh, singing uh, your favourite worship songs. I, I sense that... Uh, uh, I sense that the father uh, really enjoys your worship. He really enjoys your voice. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if uh, you actually worship lead in a church or you're a backing worshiper, uh, but uh, God has uh, called you to worship. And uh, when uh, you sing and when you worship, uh, God really uh, puts his ears uh, to uh, to heaven. He really uh, listens in and listens to your worship. He really uh, enjoys uh, your worship. And uh, I really, uh, I was led by the Holy Spirit uh, to type everything I do on these uh, run sheets. And uh, I definitely uh, got uh, that uh, you're destined, uh, should, uh, you've got a calling to be a singer, and uh, I also got recording artists. So um, it's uh, I think it's quite simple to uh, to upload music to iTunes, and um, I don't know how you'd advertise it, but I know that uh, I know that I'd be interested in downloading your worship. Um, I, I sense that uh, you have uh, got an anointing uh, for singing. And uh, you um, you uh, have got a destiny to actually uh, do an album or two and sing. I'm not sure what you look like, Jasmine. I, I encourage everyone I do a prophecy over and blueprint over. I encourage them uh, to friend request me on uh, Facebook and I'll put uh, my Facebook address uh, in the uh, email that I send you, but it's also in the description tag uh, for people uh, to a friend request me on Facebook. I'd uh, love to talk to you uh, on Facebook uh, video uh, about uh, this blueprint and discuss it uh, in uh, depth uh, with you, uh, but I encourage you to friend request me. Point number two, uh, I sense uh, because uh, you're prophetic and I sense because you've got a good relationship with God, I sense that uh, God is going to uh, download uh, people and situations and things uh, that uh, he wants prayer for. And uh, I'm not sure uh, if you've been operating as an intercessor so far or whether uh, this is news to you, but I sense uh, it's part of your blueprint, it's part of your uh, spiritual makeup uh, to uh, intercede uh, for people and countries and situations. Um, uh, I, I'm uh, not necessarily an intercessor, but I have, uh, it, it is on my blueprint. I just haven't done a lot of it, but from time to time, uh, the Lord will put a person on my heart and I'll intercede uh, for that person as I'm uh, led uh, by the Holy Spirit. Uh, so I sense that um, uh, you could even uh, you could even have um, uh, 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 an album, an EP of, of singing and one of the last tracks uh, could be a spirit-led prayer that you pray over the people or you pray over the album or you pray uh, for a certain situation and uh, I'm sure uh, people would play the whole album and stay to listen to the prayer. Point number three, um, God uh, God has a lot of one-way prayers going to him. He has a lot of people uh, demanding things of him and asking things for him and confessing sin has a lot of people muttering and uh, spending time uh, talking to him but he's got few people who actually want to listen to him 
uh, God uh, can uh, get very sad. He can get frustrated. He can get depressed. He can get angry. And uh, he, uh, he has uh, very few people on earth uh, that uh, are prepared to listen to the bad side, listen uh, to the hard things that God has to deal with and listen uh, to him being depressed and sad and upset and frustrated and angry uh, with uh, the way the world is going, the way uh, the modern church is behaving. And uh, I sense that uh, you've got a good relationship with God, but I sense uh, from me uh, saying this and uh, and uh, putting this out uh, there, I sense that uh, you could really grow uh, in your relationship with God by asking him questions about what frustrates him, what makes him angry, what makes him depressed, what makes him sad. Uh, how could you pray into it? How could you change things? What could you actually do uh, to uh, change his mind, uh, help him process his thoughts? And um, years ago, about uh, 20 years ago, I told Jesus that he was almost... Uh, my friend, uh, I was talking, always talking to him, and he's always helping me with, with things. And I asked him if there was any concerns that he had. Did he ever get sad or depressed or um, angry or upset? Is there anything he wants to talk about? And can he share his heart with me? And uh, my life went dark for about 15 years. It just went really dark. And uh, I uh, really... Uh, sense uh, how Jesus was feeling about the world and I essentially became a friend of God uh, in that prayer in that actual request and uh, so um, with this blueprint uh, I'm officially uh, inviting you to enter into a greater uh, stage of intimacy with God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and uh it's certainly on your uh, path, uh, certainly on your blueprint and uh, your uh, spiritual makeup uh, for you to uh, become a, a really close and intimate uh, friend of God. Um, point number four, profit. Uh, my, my most uh, simple explanation of what a prophet is is a prophet is a friend of God, and uh, you'll uh, realize that all the people uh, in the Bible uh, that were considered uh, friends of God were also prophets. Uh, the Apostle Paul was, uh, a, at, at the start, he was an evangelist, and I, I think he moved through prophet to apostle, but he certainly operated in the prophetic and Moses and Noah and and uh, David, uh, they all were prophets. And uh, I sense that uh, God has got a prophetic call on your life. And uh, I sense uh, that uh, there's certain prophets uh, in the Bible uh, that uh, you assimilate with you uh, resonate with, uh, you have an affinity with, and uh, a sense that um, the ones that uh, you feel uh, close to, that you resonate with, I sense that uh, you're going to fulfill uh, their prophetic calling in a modern uh, setting uh, today. Um, uh, the Holy Spirit isn't giving me uh, the names of the prophets that you particularly uh, resonate with uh, for his own reasons. Um, I guess um, I guess this is a public uh, YouTube and uh, um, maybe uh, the Holy Spirit doesn't want to uh, brag on you or say who you particularly uh, have an affinity with. Uh, but uh, I sense that uh, whoever uh, prophets are mentioned in the Bible that uh, you certainly resonate with. Uh, I sense that uh, you're going to come out uh, in their style and uh, uh, even uh, with their mantle. So I just pray uh, now as uh, I feel led that uh, the, the prophetic uh, people uh, in the Bible 
that you uh, particularly resonate with, uh, whether that's just one or three. Um, I pray uh, that uh, God, uh, through his angelic army, would release the mantles of those prophets right now, and uh, those mantles of those prophets would come upon you, that not only would you manifest the mantle and the fullness of Christ, but you'd also manifest these Old Testament prophetic types uh, that uh, you resonate with. And I pray that those uh, mantles would be delivered by angels and put around your shoulders right now. Uh, point number three, I can see you uh, getting information in dreams and visions. I can see you uh, developing the ability to interpret dreams. I can see you uh, having the ability to have visions of angels, of saints from heaven, of God, of Jesus. I can see you developing uh, the ability to uh, visit heaven and have interactions with God and Jesus and saints and angels in heaven. Uh, I can see you uh, really having your spiritual eyes open. And uh, I've got a service on my website that I can take people on trips to heaven or open their spiritual eyes. And if that hasn't happened in your life now, I, I'd encourage you uh, maybe to try that uh, in the coming months. And um, and uh, I can see you uh, developing an affinity with heaven and an ability uh, to go there at will. And I can see you even uh, doing Zoom classes and having... Uh, visitations of heaven with groups of people and uh, you becoming like a tour guide and sharing uh, heaven with people. Point number six, I can see you uh, operating as a teacher. I can see you uh, uh, forming your own uh, YouTube channel, running your own YouTube channel. I can see you teaching out of the word of God. I can see you teaching certain principles. I can see you uh, teaching on certain subjects. I can uh, see you in years to come doing professional video and doing master classes, like selling uh, 20 uh, 15 minute videos for $80 American and uh, having professional courses and classes. Uh, I can see you uh, doing webinars where uh, multiple people log on, like a Facebook stream or a YouTube stream and stream, and having multiple people uh, come on and you're teaching a class and recording it on a YouTube uh, video for other people to catch up. I can see you uh, teaching uh, on YouTube, on master classes, and uh, I can even uh, see you uh, in years to come, even. Uh, uh, running a, a podcast uh, and uh, interviewing people. Uh, so I, I sense that uh, you've got a really strong uh, teaching gift, a real uh, ability uh, to be led and directed and taught and inspired uh, by the Holy Spirit. A sense you'll be able to teach on video and uh, have your very words uh, formulated by the Holy Spirit. And uh, he'll use your voice and he'll use your experience and he'll use your knowledge, but he'll give you revelation and insight and wisdom as you're preaching and uh, you'll teach via the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I, I see a teaching as a really key and fundamental uh, gift in your life and calling in your life. I see, uh, like myself, I see the teaching gift more pronounced and stronger than the prophetic and seer gift. Um, I, I can see you having uh, tremendous uh, 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 supernatural encounters with your seer gifting, and I can see you having a very close uh, relationship uh, with God uh, and through your close relationship with God, uh, through your prophetic gifting, through your sea gifting, I can see all of that coming through in your teaching uh, and your teaching about the sea realm, teaching about the prophetic. 
uh, bringing forth teaching that God has put on your heart prophetically uh, for the body of Christ. And I can see you teaching all of that. Another dimension, point number seven, another uh, dimension of uh, your teaching gift is I can see you writing. I can see you uh, being a prolific writer. You, um, It certainly uh, would be, uh, be interesting uh, to be your friend and sort of uh, take you under my wing and uh, be like a mentor to you. As a writer, I'm just uh, publishing uh, this week my 120th book that I've self-published and it's a tremendous uh, body of work that I've produced and uh, I can see you also uh, being used and raised up uh, to be a prolific uh, writer and a communicator. Point number eight, it's got to do uh, with your teaching gift and your YouTube and uh, and uh, your master classes and also your writing gift, I can see you uh, being told uh, revelation and secrets and mysteries by God. Being a close friend of God, I can see the Holy Spirit really opening up uh, the Bible. Each uh, scripture verse in the Bible, rabbis have said, has have got up to seven levels of revelation on each verse and i can see the holy spirit are uh, giving you a uh, deep revelation on certain verses and certain secrets mysteries revelation and wisdom is going to be revealed to you some of uh, the things that are revealed to you will be kept uh, for time as you've uh, stewarded uh, the information and stewarded the mystery until you've walked it out in your own life, you've kept the secret and then uh, you've shared it. Um, perhaps uh, you could write a whole book about one or two revelations that you've got. You could, could probably write uh, 10 chapters, 10, 10 of the mysteries of God and uh, and uh, walking them out. I, I don't know the title for a book, but you could uh, uh, share the scripture. You could share... Uh, the secret and the wisdom in that scripture and then uh, you could share the revelation and expound on the secret and then uh, you could share a couple of testimonies in your life where those principles have been walked out by you and proven to be correct and true by you and uh, I could see uh, you are being uh, raised up as a modern day mystic and uh, I sense that uh, Madame Guyon and uh, Fanon and uh, certain mystics in the past uh, would uh, really appeal to you. And uh, I sense that uh, God is really going to use you. And uh, I can see you uh, doing videos. I can see you doing a masterclass on secrets. And I can see you producing books uh, with those secrets, how I explained. Um. Point number nine, I can see you uh, getting involved in inner healing. Uh, I can see you uh, getting involved in uh, taking people to the courts of heaven. Um, I uh, Point number 10, I can see you as a prophetic coach and uh, I can see you uh, not uh, so much as a life coach uh, because uh, that's a little different. I can see you uh, doing inner healing and being a prophetic guide to people and directing people uh, through words of wisdom and uh, words of knowledge about their life and uh, giving them uh, directional words. And like life coaching and guiding and directing people, I can see you uh, being used in deliverance and uh, inner healing and uh, taking people to courts of heaven and uh, dealing with all sorts of trauma and issues. I, I can't see this taking up a lot of your time, but I can see uh, it's been uh, built into your uh, spiritual DNA as, as uh, part of uh, your toolkit. I really uh, sense that uh, God wants to encourage you uh, to uh, worship. I, I really sense that there's going to be a lot of power, a lot of 
healing uh, release to certain people with your singing. Um, I really want to encourage you to press in and ask God some questions about what frustrates him, what hurts him, what annoys him, what depresses him, what makes him angry. I sense that there's a whole book uh, that uh, you can reveal about the the secrets and the hurts and the pains of God. And I sense that uh, you could write a very important prophetic book about what the body of Christ need to do and take action in what the individual reader who reads the book needs to do and change in their own life uh, to make God happy and relieve God of some of the frustration and the stress and the anger and the depressed uh, mood of his. Um, I pray uh, that uh, this uh, blueprint has encouraged you. I want to uh, really uh, thank you uh, for your donation of your money. Um, I just want to share that uh, your 150 Australian dollars uh, will basically uh, pay for my next book. Uh, my next book is going to cost about uh, $45 to edit and uh, 75 Australian dollars for the cover. Uh, so um, I've got the publishing cost paid for. So that $125 uh, I needed and uh, it's going to be met. Uh, with the money that you paid for your blueprint, feel free to uh, to donate to me anytime. I encourage you, if you haven't been to heaven or haven't had your spiritual eyes open, uh, to ask for that service. But besides that and any sort of donations you want to give me, I want to really encourage you uh, to friend request me and become a friend. I think uh, that I've traveled in a lot of these areas and uh, I've experienced a lot of uh, your blueprint and uh, I uh, would uh, love to uh, donate my time and be a special friend uh, to you and uh, and my life uh, to uh, be used to sort of coach you and direct you and guide you uh, into how you can uh, step by step um, participate uh, in your blueprint. Thank you. I want to thank you for the bottom of my heart. Thank you uh, so much uh, for your donation today. I really appreciate you. And um, the book uh, I'm going to produce, if you don't get in touch, is uh, 12 uh, Steps to Intimacy with God. And uh, it'll be like uh, 30 pages. And uh, it's really a powerful uh, little book. And uh, I, uh, I want to thank you so much for your finances. God bless you. I look forward to your friend requests.